Good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Juan Diesel, and I'm back with another video. This one's called What is the Holocaust? Before we get started, make sure you all subscribe to the channel and um, leave a comment. That being said, let's get started. Not so long ago, millions of people were convinced or coerced to help systematically murder six million innocent men, women, and children. How could this happen? How could so many people turn so bad? These are profound questions. There are no easy answers. But we do know that many methods that enabled this unprecedented mass genocide, known as the Holocaust, are being practiced today. To understand this, let's take a step back. In 1914 through 1918, the war to end all wars was fought. In this great war, now known as World War I, Germany was defeated. Thereafter, the country struggled to pay reparations, overcome the ramifications of the Great Depression, high unemployment, and political instability. In this turbulent period, the Nazi party and its leader, Adolf Hitler, rose to power by promoting extreme nationalism and fanning the flames of hatred, particularly against a German minority population, the Jews. Many German people enthusiastically embraced this message of hate and the promise of a renewed, powerful country. In the 1932 elections, the Nazi party became the largest group in the German parliament. And through a negotiated political deal, Adolf Hitler became the chancellor of Germany in 1933. Through a combination of oppressive laws and by practicing domestic terrorism, the Nazis were able to solidify their power. During this period, political opponents were jailed, the press was stifled, and Jews were vilified and humiliated. In 1938, on a night called Kristallnacht, 267 synagogues and more than 7,000 Jewish businesses and homes were looted or destroyed. 30,000 Jewish men were arrested, and more than 100 Jews were murdered. While this was not an era of social media, it was an era of fake news and aggressive propaganda. The Nazis deployed cutting-edge marketing and communication techniques. They were masterful in branding their form of hatred, using film as it had never been used before, posting aggressive, targeted messages, characterizing Jews as demons and monsters. With a population primed to hate, things got worse. Jews and other individuals deemed unworthy of life by the Nazis were confined to ghettos and then carted on sealed freight trains across German-occupied Europe to extermination camps. Families were separated. The old and sick were generally the first to die. Younger and stronger people were thrust into forced labor. People were starved to death in the freezing temperatures, or died from disease, or were murdered in mass in gas chambers. The death camps accounted for approximately half of the six million Jews that were killed. Other Jews were slaughtered in mass executions, random shootings, on the streets, in their homes, in synagogues, ghettos, and more. In total, one-third of the world's Jewish population and two-thirds of Europe's Jewish population were slaughtered. In addition, the Nazis also murdered millions of other enemies and people they deemed undesirable, including Poles, the Roma, the incurably sick, Soviet POWs, political opponents, and gay men. In the end, millions of Germans, as well as individuals from other countries, were ultimately responsible for the largest genocide in human history. So how did this happen? The demonization of a minority population false propaganda, domestic terrorism, the acceptance of hate speech, and the co-opting of the press are all hugely impactful. The Nazis proved that seemingly normal people can be convinced and coerced to commit the worst atrocities imaginable.